My lovers, Cancer Nation and their lovers, welcome to your August 2020 Astrological Sign um, Update. <clears throat> now remember, when you're watching these readings for love, you're not just watching a sun sign. You're going to watch your sun, moon, Venus, and rising sign. Some people also resonate very strong with their north node. Um, and then you're going to watch your person's placement in those areas. Because when it comes to soul connections, um, the energies can definitely um, be flipped or entertain interchangeable. Okay? So you just have to really pick a position and see what resonates with you. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay, so let's get into this. We're going to start by getting a multidimensional or holistic view of your person. So I'm going to go into my Divine Counterparts and Separation deck. And we're going to get a message from your person's higher self, a significator from your person's higher self. What's the most important message that we need to receive right now from your person? A significator. What's, what's, what's the most important message? Okay, we have rebirth underneath the deck. And we have, well, it's basically the tower. There are drastic changes in my life right now. So big things happening for your person. Life as they knew it um, has taken a turn. Um, lots of upheaval. Things are adrift. They may be feeling adrift, quite frankly. Okay. Um, because I think they were doing the most not to rock this boat to prevent this tower from happening. But this boat, um, Spirit has sent the storm. There are things that needed rocking up. <laughs> rocking up. <laughs> yeah, there's, there are things that needed rocking. There are things that need to be shaken loose. Um, and that's what's happening right now. Something was thrown overboard um, here to lighten the load, okay, <laughs> on your person's journey. So we're going to pull some cards on this um, and get full messages. And let's get a 3D message from your person. These are from Angelic Revelation 144. I see your soul. I feel your presence. I hear your voice. And I'm constantly receiving heavenly signs through angel numbers spirit animals and music so this person is bombarded with synchronicities about you spirit will not let up i see your name and initials everywhere i wonder if you receive the signs too right so this person definitely having um an awakening they, they, can, they can't hide okay um they wanted to keep their eyes closed and pretend that this love didn't exist no 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 no, no. i'm not seeing it. i'm not hearing um, but spirit is not having it so everywhere they turn they are haunted by you and they're being forced to face their feelings. And them facing their feelings is what's causing this power moment. Now, this has been the basic, the general message throughout all the signs um, this month. Them feeling a sense of loss or something big upheaval happening in their life, forcing them to face their feelings. Okay, that has been the general message. So, it looks like everybody can watch everybody's sign because that's been... The, the, the general thing. We have intuition. You see the spirit guides and everybody talking to them right now. And they're listening. They're listening. They have no choice but to listen. It's not, there's, there's nowhere to hide. Um, if you were on the live last night, that came out in, more, in two of the um, pick a pile piles. Nowhere to hide. They have nowhere to hide right now. Nowhere to run. Um, they just have to face the music, face the storm, and face um, the reality of things and their feelings. Okay, so we have here, <clears throat> you are being guided to listen within for your guides and higher self to give you messages. So that's what they're doing. They're logging in. Okay, they're finally logging on. They are desiring to communicate with you. Spirit is asking you to open your crown chakra and listen for them. So it looks like this person had some kind of crown chakra uh, activation or third eye activation. And now they're receiving all these messages from their spirit guide source. They're getting them direct. And there's a lot of things that they're unearthing about any kind of karmic energy um, in their life. So let's pull some cards on these. Let me give this clarification pile a shuffle. And this pile was um, donated by MG and I absolutely love it. Um, it's a tower of the golden wheel. I love it. Wow, 
this deck so stiff today. What the hell? It's not usually like this. Okay, because there's a card in here. Um, the Knight of Pentacles in here. So some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else mixed up in here. I'm like, why is this deck is not that stiff? Okay, there are no others mixed up in here. So some of you guys dealing with a Virgo here. Um, and this person, um, they're coming forward to give you some kind of offer, but they're dragging their feet. This is a procrastinator right there. All right, so let's see what's going on. Spirit, tell us about that upheaval card. Bit major transformation. Some of you guys dealing with a Scorpio here. Okay, so this person's going through a major transformation at this time. So everything around them um, is changing here with that death card. Okay, this person might be with someone else or there might be a situation at work that's being transformed. Um, but it looks like they're walking away um, from something that doesn't serve them. Let me pull a card in that three of pentacles and see what that is about. Yeah, you see that they're standing in their power, standing in their strength. I think previously they may have given their power away to some kind of karmic energy. Okay, but if they had some kind of soul contract with someone, um, this contract is over. We have the Hierophant in reverse. So coming out strongly, we have Scorpio and um, Taurus and Leo um, coming out strong here. So let's see this about the synchronicities, them being haunted by you. Let's pull three cards and see what's happening. Okay, and everything points them into one place. Um, the Empress, the Divine Feminine. Okay, whoever's watching this. Um, because in my readings, all reverse court cards are karmic energies and all upright court cards are divine energies. So all roads, all signs are leading to the Empress here. Okay, and they want to be more consistent in your life. So that player energy that they had before, of them coming in and out, in and out, in and out, um, it's over. They want to be consistent. Okay, and it looks like um, there's some kind of breakup or some kind of breakdown that's happening in their life right now. Coming out strongly, Sagittarius and Libra and Taurus. And this card about intuition. You know, their intuition, you see, they're, they're, <laughs> this person's having a serious awakening. So there's some kind of fresh fire that they've received from spirit. And spirit is telling them, now it's time to stand in their power, begin their spiritual journey, and manifest a new beginning for themselves. Look at here again um, with the magician, some of you dealing with a Virgo or Gemini. Okay, spirit's telling them, plant new seeds. Plant new seeds. Whatever you planted before, feed it to the birds and plant new seeds. That's the download they're getting here. The Spirit is also reassuring them that they have all the tools in their toolbox um, to make this happen. They, all they need to do is stand in their power. Make a decision. Stop standing at that crossroads and choose a path. Start something new. Those are the messages that they're getting from Spirit right now. And it's heartbreaking for your person because it looks like um, they invested a lot wherever they're at. Let's look at their emotional body now and see what's happening. And this is important because not everybody's going to be able to join me in the extended, but at least this will tell them um, a little more of what's happening in their person's life, especially if you're in no communication. Um, this is my emotional intelligence deck. And let's get three cards from here. Underneath the deck is confrontational. So spirit is forcing them to confront their feelings, confront the people in their life that they gave their power away to, and confront themselves. All uh, right, we have tense. So this person, it looks like they're bracing themselves for something, or there's some kind of tense situation in their life right now. Um, they are concerned. We're going to see what they're concerned about. And they're feeling desperate. I really do think that this person... Um, they think that they've lost you. That's what, that's what I'm getting right now. They think that they have lost you. So let's see tense. Let's see what's happening here. All right. I think your person is feeling alone. They feel isolated. They feel left out in the cold by you and they feel 
unsupported. They think that you've left them. And this is what's driving them. This is what's shaking them up. They think that you've left them. But um, they are leaving some other situation um, in order to come towards you. Okay? For some of them, they might be leaving with a child. I think that came out in the message yesterday. So some of you guys can watch Aries. Okay? Um, but it looks like they previously felt um, stuck in the situation. Like they weren't moving forward. But now they're following their intuition. Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, and Virgo coming out strong here. What are they concerned about, Spirit? Ooh. They're concerned about their money. They're concerned about their job. Okay. Um, they're concerned about um, conflict. I think your person is very conflict avoidant. Um, they don't like it. Okay. But you know what? They can't unsee what they've seen. With this awakening, they can't unsee it, they can't unhear it, they can't um, unacknowledge it, they can't unfeel what they're feeling. Okay, so they know that something's got to give. Something's got to give. It looks like they're in some kind of karmic situation, but their world has recently been turned um, upside down. So they're concerned about money, and that's what's keeping them stuck there. But spirit is shaking them up and spirit is letting them know just how toxic the situation is. So, um, here you are, Cancer. Okay. Um, this is the devil, Capricorn. Some of you guys might be dealing with Capricorn. Um, but they think that they've lost you, Cancer. Some of you guys dealing with a Scorpio. They think that they've lost you. Um, and, they, and it's this sense of loss that also makes them want to make the effort in the relationship again. And they're feeling desperate because, see, they realize now that you're the Ten of Cups. You know, when people can't appreciate your absence, you have to make them feel your presence. So it looks like your presence, sorry, when people can't appreciate your, your presence, you have to make them feel your absence. And it looks like this person um, is feeling your absence right now. So they want to talk to you. They're desperate to talk to you because they're not sure what's happening. It looks like you might have withdrawn your energy. And this is triggering them really hard. Okay. Yeah. It looks like they weren't committing to themselves to you. There might have been some kind of player energy here. But it looks like something is ending in your person's life. Okay. Whatever is happening. Something is ending. They're no longer fighting for it anymore. Because they know where their heart is now. Alright. So let's look at their mental space. With regard to you. When they think about you. And think about this connection. Where is their mind at? And I want to thank Nitu for donating this deck. The Romantic Tarot. Which I've used for all the astrological sign readings um, this month. It's absolutely beautiful. So they're thinking about a leap of faith. They're thinking about creating something new because I always leave this card in as the abundance card, the creator card. But there's definitely the fool on it. So they're thinking about a leap of faith here. All right. So we have the eight of swords trapped in their mind. We have the tower. Scorpio and Aries. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so it looks like previously this person was trapped. They were trapped in some sort of situation, but rarely they were trapped in their mind, their limiting beliefs, and the programming that they received um, growing up. So they're socialized, the way they were socialized, the things they were thought, they were taught, um, views on life, their philosophies. It looks like they were caught up in that. Basically, they were caught up in an illusion. Okay? And then Spirit brought in this tower. And everything they thought they knew. They don't know. And everything they thought they were feeling, they don't feel anymore. So everything has been raised to the ground. So this tower that they built over their ego to protect their ego, um, it has absolutely crumbled. And this is what's um, causing them to run towards you. I want to run towards you, Whitney Houston. Right, that's, that's what they're feeling right now. And they're wondering, is it too late? It's like this almost like... Um, 
in like a church and i don't know if you're about to get married or about to um go with someone else and they're hoping that they're not too late so they're, they're running in because they, they realize now that you're the one and they want to invest in this connection that's what i'm seeing here let's get other additional messages let's see that eight of swords Yeah, um, they're releasing whatever anxiety, whatever fears, whatever depression, um, whatever nightmarish situation they're in. So they're going from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords reversed. Yeah, they've been doing an evaluation of their life. The things that they've invested, their time, money, and energy. They're, uh, they're looking at the return on their investment. And they're realizing, you know what, wherever they're at, it's just a bad investment. They just need to let it go. Right, they know they have this choice um, in love to make here with the lovers, so Gemini coming through, um, and it looks like they weren't seeing things clearly. We have the ace of swords in reverse, okay, um, and they weren't listening to their intuition, they weren't listening um, to their heart, and then spirit brought in the tower. And everything crumbled. The tower was you. Aries energy here. Okay. Because when Aries or Scorpio comes into your life, um, it's total destruction of an old habit. So spirit brought in the tower. That's you. Spirit brought in you. And you broke down all this person's walls. Okay. Caught them totally off guard and totally off balance. We have temperance in reverse. Sagittarian energy. You showed them everything that wasn't working in their life, okay? And you stopped that self-sabotage um, that they were doing. You made them realize that they had a lot of toxicity around them, toxic people, toxic situations. And you made them stand in their power as the emperor. You showed them by example how to take charge of their life. So coming out strongly here, we have Aries, we have Sagittarius, we have Capricorn, and we have um, Taurus and Aries here again. Okay, so total destruction. Their walls came crumbling now, now they want to invest in something new, something different, something that they've never invested before. Um, they're going through a total transformation. Because they're now realizing that their life, what they were paying attention to, what they were... Um, making a priority wasn't making them a priority. They were making a bad investment, so they're realizing that now. So we have total transformation happening here. What's blocking this connection at this time? <clears throat> Judgment. So this connection is being blocked by spirit so that you and your person can be fully awakened um, and you're seeing the situation from a higher perspective so that both you and your person can answer your soul's calling and step onto your soul's path. That's Scorpio. What's blocking this connection? We have the king of wands in reverse. So it looks like somebody wasn't taking action or... You know, this is a reverse court card, so just a karmic energy. So it could be the karmic in their life um, is trying to control the situation right now. So <clears throat> the king of wands reverse, um, he is a philanderer, so it could be that the karmic is trying to influence the situation through sec the use of sec their sexuality. Um, this is someone who um, misuses their spiritual gifts, so it could be energetically trying to control the connection. Um, the king of wands reverse is physically abusive. Um, arrogant and domineering so they could be doing um, all these different things um, just to distract your person and impede your person's progress what's blocking this connection um, we have temperance so what's blocking this connection um, there's some karma that's being resolved right now okay um, both you and your person as well um, are being tempered or refined by spirit um, for a proper relationship um, and that's why this connection is being blocked because there's work that both of you guys need to do um, on your own 
If you want to know what that work is, check out that 8 8 portal reading that I did on Friday. That would have been Friday the 7th. Check that out. Um, and you're, go you're going to see what spirit wants to focus on um, going forward. Okay. So, guys, if this resonated with you, join me next extended. And what I'm going to do there, I'm going to look at your person's heart space energy for you. I'm going to look at what they might be hiding. I'm going to look at what's happening in their life right now. I'm going to get some 3D messages and I have so many 3D decks. I'm going to get about 12 of those cards. I'm going to get messages from your person's higher self. I'm going to um, look at perspective um, actions towards you um, by the end of the month. And then I'm going to get advice from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck for you. All right. So, guys, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you logging into the channel. Take care. Bye.